we've been working to show you the, the bases for Tai Chi, the concepts that, that are used in all forms, or all the forms that we teach. And, and, but yet, we also want to teach you a, a set of movements, the 10 forms. And I always go back to intention, so that what we're doing is not, not random movement. So I'm going to try to do a 10 form and try to explain some of the things that I'm going through, OK? So we start out just in our Tai Chi posture. Shift weight, come out here. Hands forward. And when you're doing your commencing form, you're not doing this, but you are pushing from your back of your shoulders to get your arms up. And when you are coming down, you're not just straight arm. You see my arms are bent, but the elbows start to drop down, and my, my shoulders are dropping down as I drop the rest of my body. Coming up here, this is to give me a, a mark. And this is coming up here in a spiral, coming here. Turn, rush, push, and pull. You are doing a simultaneous martial arts movement of grabbing the opponent and striking a blow. You're going to do your brush knee, you shift, and this helps you to center. Well, it helps you to shift, but it also helps you to center as you come this way. Everything is here. Movement and balance is here. Stepping out, I'm still in that, that pose here, but as I turn, I'm swiveling and advancing. Sit back. This gives me a, 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 a sense of symmetry and balance, but I'm also centering again. I'm going to center here, from here. Push up. I come from here, sit back, I form a ball. And the ball is not just a bunch of hands, but I am coming from, from this position, and I am bringing my elbows together. Of sorts, okay. Shift weight. Okay, and then now we're going to, we're going to be um, doing parting of the horse's mane. You step out, but you're still at this position. Come out, advance, and give your force rotatory as well as, as advancement. Sit back, drop your elbows and center, hold your ball. Do this again. You're still, this is substantial, you bring your hands together. Now, you sit back, you drop your elbows, and your elbows are both moving in one direction. And they both start to move, and you're turning at your waist. You're applying a block using your body and your hands, and your upper, or your, your upper uh, trunk. Turning, using rotation. Shift your weight. Bring this hand here to help you. And this here, elbow comes in, and your leg comes in. And up, up, come down, elbow comes down and to the side, elbow comes up, leg comes up. Drop your elbow, drop your shoulders, get yourself centered right here. From here, you help, it's telling you, bring that leg in, bring that leg up, bring that leg up. Center. Bring that leg in, bring that leg up. Okay, come down. Set your substantial here. Hold your ball in center here. Come out. Drop your shoulders, but you're, you're giving a power here. Turn your waist to get some power, more power. Sit back, and you're pulling and you're pushing. Come back. Bring your power central. Push it out again. Bring your power back, but drop it down and push it down. And you're coming back in this position. So when you come back forward, the power is coming out of my shoulders, okay? Turn, 
Drop your elbows and get your ball centered. Step out, push, turn a little bit. Come down, use your upper body as well as your lower body to draw the, the opponent. Push him away. Sit down, drop your shoulders and bring it all the way back. Come back here. Pivot, pivot out. You, it's in uh, 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 embracing the tiger, the first movement is a movement something like in this direction. Down, as if you're going to be striking a blow, but you change your mind. You're coming together, bring it up, and as you're bringing it up, you use the power that's underneath to bring him up, and then when you push him out, you're using the power under here to shove him away. And then again, as you close, you drop your elbow, you drop your shoulders, you're delivering the power down here. Stand and close. Mind. So, but besides that, you should be thinking about your dantian. That's that's the automatic pilot or the, the central pilot from which you direct the rest of your body. If you're doing something like so, you're centering all your weight. You drop your shoulders. You drop your elbows. What are you trying to do? You're trying to get into a ball almost because this is the center of the ball. End of one more lesson. Very good. Very good.